So I hope I'm in frame. I hope you can see me because I have no one currently filming this. So yeah, also, it's raining outside, so there's like weird lighting and lots of noise, and you probably can't hear me very well, but that's what editing's for. Um, so basically this video is going to be about my first two horses, and how I got them, and their story. So we're going to start off, also I have a few updates, because fair is in four days, I have a few updates. So I've been trying to film this video for seven months now kind of ish and every time I go to film it it either doesn't work gets deleted or just completely goes missing so we're finally getting to this and hopefully it works this time because it really needs to so for some reason I'm tired okay so starting off this video th ten months ago I got my first horse on whoa on November 9th, 2018. Um, I got Chance Dusty Rhodes. I'm gonna insert a picture here. He is was a Arabian Pinto cross. I don't remember all the information about my own horse. And I don't know where my phone is, where the information is at. So, I'll put all the information in right here. Because I have a picture of it. So basically, my mom's friend bought me Champ. And he was at a kill pen down in Texas. And I'm trying to make this long story kind of short. So we can get into my second horse. But basically what happened was after three months. Oh wait, I gotta go back. So basically what happened, after we got him, he got involved in, I believe it was a stampede. And um, injured his leg. And it was never declared whether or not he actually went lame or was just injured. We could never. But basically what happened was we had vets working with him from all over as best as they could trying to help him and get him better but what happened was he we didn't want to bring him up here if he was had a lame leg we didn't want to trailer him like that so basically what happened was three months went by and he wasn't getting better his leg was actually getting worse it was getting better for a minute for a little bit but then it started getting worse and after three months he got equine flu it was when all a bunch of horses were getting equine flu especially at the kill pen he was at um and he basically got so weak that he couldn't walk anymore he just laid there and we had to make the decision to put him down so Chance is no longer alive, but he did not die at a slaughterhouse like he would have. He died with an owner and with a name, and they called him Chance. There was an entire three months for me, and I got continuously pictures and updates, and it was like he was here with me, but he wasn't. Um, that's basically what happened with Chance, and... Yeah, I was going to say something else, but I can't remember. Um, yeah, I love him very much, and I wish I could have had him. He, they said he was a very, well, he was very quiet, nice horse. But basically, if you don't know what a kill pen is, a kill pen buys horses typically from auctions and stuff like that. And then they come to the kill pen, and the kill pen typically puts it on Facebook. Facebook is a big outlet for kill pens typically put the horse on Facebook and tries to adopt him out to an owner, but if they don't get to an owner, they go to a slaughterhouse down in Mexico. And then from there they get slaughtered and shipped for meat, glue, all those other things. Gelatin, if you don't know, gelatin does have animal bones in it, and that's what makes it the gelatin. Sorry if that's kind of disturbing, but it's true. Um... So yeah, that's basically what happens, and that's what would have happened to him, and to my second horse, but 
instead my second horse ended up with a little bit of a happier story than Chance did. Um, basically, I still wanted a horse really bad after this. Um, and I found my horse. His name was Butter. I did change his name, but I have a coming home video that he, that I filmed with him in it. And he picks his name in that, and you'll have to wait for that, which will be up after this to see what happened. So basically, in this video, I'll refer to him as Butter or Buddy, because Buddy is his nickname, or Bubba. Um, either of those. So that's how I'll refer to him in this video. Or my horse. You, you'll catch on. But, basically, he was at a, he wasn't at a kill pen. He was at a holding facility, which the kill pen bought him from. And that was in South Carolina, but the kill pen was out of Florida. And so he never made it to the kill pen. I got him, thankfully, before he did. Um, and so basically what happened was I found, my mom found this horse on Facebook. We were looking through the kill pen sites and showed him to me. And I kind of dismissed him at first because I was like, eh, you know, he not all that great, not that special kind of thing. I was like, eh, he's okay, but he's not really what I was looking for at the time. And he's a bit older, so I wasn't really, I was looking for quite a bit of younger horse, so I could barrel race him more. Um, and he is, he is 15. Also, I'm going to enter a picture of him somewhere in here, so I'll probably do it right now. This is my bud. <laughs> He's a quarter horse, and he is 15. So he's not on the older side, but not on the younger side here. I was looking for something more in the 12 to 11-year-old 12, 12 to 11 range. Wait, that would be opposite. 11 to 12-year-old range. So they could be a bit more of a speed horse, but it's fine. He's still really good with barrels. He loves it. But basically, I raised the money for um, my horse and it's weird not saying his name and we bought him from this kill van and within a couple of days he was transported I believe it was 17 hours from South Carolina to Virginia to where I live um he had to go to Virginia first because they were dropping another horse off in Virginia so he stayed the night in Virginia and then from there he came straight to where I live um and so yeah that's basically his journey and he is he was quarantined at a quarantine barn for a month and now he is at my barn where I have the horses I show for fair um so it's basically I think that's all of his story um if you guys have any questions about Chance or, we'll just call him Butter for now, Chance or Butter, um, you guys can leave them down below, and I will try and answer them to my best ability. Uh, I love both of my horses very, very much, and although I never got to meet Chance, it feels like I did, and I love him so much, but Butter is my baby, and I love him, I'm so grateful to finally have a horse after what is going on nine years of riding so yeah um now to get to my fair horses so as you guys previously n knew if you watched some of my other videos i am show i was supposed to be showing a horse named aubrey who is a paint and a complete angel but she recently went lame a couple months back we think she fell in the mud and hurt her leg if you guys don't know what lame is i don't know the technical term but it basically means their leg is hurt and they it prevents them from being ridden and walked and like ridden and like normally walking they're typically limping or something she is not really in pain as far as we know she is just 
got something going on with her leg that we don't really know what's going on. So that's pretty much it on her. So she cannot show at fair this year. So about three months ago, I began working with a new horse at the same barn. Her name is Libby. She is a chestnut mare. And she is kind of like my show horse last year, but a little bit bigger. I showed a horse named Cammie last year, and she was a chestnut mare as well. But she was a pony. And also, she is the same... Cammie was the same height as my horse. She's 14'2", and uh, Butter is 14'2", as well, by the way. And so, Libby will be going to fair this year. And I don't know how tall Libby is. She's... I think she's 15 hands? 15 one maybe? Something like that. Anywho, she will be going to fair this year. I'm also showing a little mini named Nugget. And I'll insert pictures of both of them in right here. And so I'm showing these two beautiful horses, well, horse and mini, at fair this year, which is in four days. And I have not ridden Libby that much, so I'm a bit nervous for her. Um, she has never been to a show, she's never been to fair, really never done anything like this. Neither has Nugget, but he's a mini, so he concerns me less. And he's just doing showmanship, which you don't ride or anything, you just lead them by a halter. So it's pretty easy. Um, and he's been doing really good at that. Libby will also be doing showmanship, but she obviously is a horse, so they'll be competing in different categories. But, yeah, so they'll both be going to fair this year, and I'm super excited and a little terrified to ride Libby because it's, she's never done this before, and I don't know how she's going to react. And they are at fair for six days straight. And so, yeah, I don't know how they're going to react. It's kind of terrifying. But I think we're going to do fine. I hope we do fine. So that's pretty much all about what's going on. So if you guys have any more questions, leave them down below. There will be several videos coming out. I am doing a fair vlog again this year. Um, and so the video after this will be Bandit's Homecoming, I think. And then probably the fair vlog. We'll see how it plays out. But for sure, this one is going up as soon as I get edited, probably tonight or tomorrow. And it is the 20th? Yeah, it's the 20th of July. So, yeah. But I've had... I wanted to throw this in. I've had Bandit for seven months now. I got him in January. On January 31st, I believe he got up here. Um, so, yeah, I've had him for about seven-ish months now, and I completely love him, he's an angel, and he will be showing up fair next year as well, and instead of Libby, so I will, you guys will see him, and he is an angel, and I love him so much, and you guys will see more and more of him now that I finally have this video out, I've kind of been holding him back, he was the one I posted on my Instagram that I was raising money for, um, so that is the horse. But I haven't posted any other pictures saying that I got him <laughs> because I've been waiting for this video, which is kind of hard. He is all over my personal Instagram and stuff. I think he's actually on Snowball's Instagram saying that I got him because I know not many of you guys follow both of them. So I was like, we'll post him on here. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm glad to finally update you on everything that's been going on and getting this video out of the way. It's literally been so hard I've been so busy and it's every time I go to do it, it seems like something messes it up so let's cross our fingers that this one works so I'll see you guys in my next video I love you all and please like and subscribe bye guys